That was absolutely wonderful. Can we give them all another round of applause to Mern Jason from the Chicago-based music duo, The Two Filipinos. And thank you guys so much for that awesome opening. That was wonderful. I'm just trying to look over there. Thank you guys. All right, over there, you guys. All right, good afternoon. Magandang hapon. Kumusta na kayo? <laughs> Welcome to the Illinois Bicentennial Filipino American History Month celebration hosted by the Office of the Governor and Lieutenant Governor. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Kate Kogiran. I'm a reporter with ABC7. And off the bat, I have to tell you right now, I absolutely love Filipino American Heritage Month. Yes, it's a bias. <laughs> now, for the reasons, though, that it honors the two cultures I have been so fortunate to grow up in. My father joined the United States Navy, and after that, my parents both immigrated to the United States in search of a better life and future for their family. And as a military child, my life's constant was change. Every three years, a new base, a new school, new friends. But even though my physical home may have changed, my parents made sure the other constant in my life was our culture. So as much as my school and my surroundings taught me to be a proud American, my Filipino upbringing brought me a steady world of great food, festivals, and an ever-growing community of titas and titos no matter where I live. So being Filipino was never simply a box to check, but a point of pride. No matter what country we lived in or where we were based on, 
Thanks to my parents, I never forgot where my family came from. So I stand here honored as an American and a Penai to kick off a celebration and a love of a culture that always felt like home to me, no matter where the homeland was. So thank you very much. Now to officially kick off the formal program, we ask that you all please rise and welcome Judith Sayers, who will sing the national anthems of both the United States of America and the Republic of the Philippines. was a very beautiful performance. Thank you so much, Judita, for sharing your talents with the community. I now like to welcome our main partner for today's event from the Consulate General of the Republic of the Philippines in Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Consul General Dr. Gina Hamoralen. Lieutenant Governor Evelyn Sanguinetti, leaders of the Filipino-American community, my fellow Kababayan, fellow Filipinos, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Ever since the 111th U.S. Congress in November 2009 passed the resolution officially recognizing October as a Filipino-American History Month, the Filipino-American community has been spearheading efforts to bring to light before the people of the state of Illinois the genesis and historic contributions of Filipino-Americans to their new home. The first arrival of Filipinos in the United States was first recorded in Morro Bay, California in 1587. Fast forward to 2018, on behalf of the Philippine government, it is my pride and pleasure to join you 
as we open today the month-long month -long observance of the Philippine American History Month. Today, in partnership with the Office of Governor Bruce Rauner, represented here today by Lieutenant Governor Sanguinetti, we are privileged to undertake this event as part of the bicentennial celebration of the great state of Illinois. The Philippine... Let's give them a big hand. The Filipino-American narrative is distinct yet intimately woven with that of other peoples of color who remain a minority in the United States. However, the intersection of our political histories after the Spanish-American War ended with Cuba, Guam, Puerto Rico, and the United States taking over from Spain, the control of the Philippines in 1899, and the almost 50 years of American period that followed, which brought with it free public education, free market economy, and the democratic system of government, the common bond of friendship between Filipinos and American soldiers forged in blood in the battles of Bataan and Corregidor during World War II, and the almost four million Filipino diaspora in the United States, calling the United States their home. We have developed a deep, long-lasting friendship between Filipinos and Americans, especially in times of crisis. And I wish to take this opportunity to remember those who suffered injury, loss of loved ones or property caused by the Hurricane Florence, which recently visited the United States. Since the Philippine Consulate General in Chicago opened 70 years ago, our mission is to develop not only people-to-people -people links between the people of Illinois and the Filipinos in the, in the Philippines, but also to forge economic ties. For the, develop, for the mutual development of our two peoples. Many, many Illinois-based companies have established their presence in the Philippines. To name a few, Caterpillar, Abbott, Baxter, McDonald's, UL, Northern Trust, among others. While from the Philippines, JFC, the country's number one food business company, known by its Jollibee franchise, and the LT Group, maker of Tandwai rum, the new best-selling rum in the world, have made Chicago and Illinois part of their international expansion. But the greatest resource of the Philippines are our warm, friendly, hospitable, adaptable, hardworking, freedom-loving Filipinos. Since the first arrival of the first Filipino pensionados in the United States, our doctors and nurses have toiled in the hospitals and care homes in the United States, particularly in the Midwest. We have forged that friendship, which, we, which go back, back to the 1960s when the first Filipino professionals came to the United States. Today, there are more than 3.9 million Filipino Americans, around 350,000 in the Midwest, and 150,000 in Illinois. Given our community's significant number and being the second fastest growing Asian community in the U.S., we encourage more active participation of Filipino Americans in democratic and electoral exercise at all levels. With the midterms fast approaching, the Filipino American History Month should be an opportunity not just for reflection and remembrance of our past achievements, but also for action to promote and protect the right and duty to vote. It is a civic responsibility, responsibility that, I call, that I call on our Filipino Americans to exercise that privilege to vote in the forthcoming election. In the future, we look forward to more Filipino Americans, especially the younger generations, will also explore the right to be voted and heed the noble call to public service and leadership. And speaking of Filipino-American youth, I am pleased to announce that the Philippine Consulate, in partnership with the Commission of Filipinos Overseas, are launching their very first Young Leaders in Diaspora Immersion Program for the Midwest. This is a seven-day travel and educational trip to the Philippines from January 3 to 9 next year for Filipino Americans aged 16 to 25 years old to help channel their search for their Filipino roots, to tap their spirit of voluntarism, and to embark on a cultural experience and rediscovery.
We wish to help our young Filipino Americans to trace their roots, discover their heritage, and in the process, become future leaders in their respective communities or fields. We are distributing flyers to, for the program today, which is on the right side, and interested parents or organizations are invited to sponsor their children, their younger members of the organization to join the program. And lastly, I would like to thank the, the state of Illinois for hosting this event, and also for the various proclamations that we received today on the occasion of the Filipino American History Month. First, we received a proclamation from the Illinois governor. We also received a proclamation from the Illinois state treasurer, also from the mayor of Chicago. We also received a proclamation from the state representative from Michigan and from the mayor of Skokie. To all of you, this is our month and this is we have to celebrate our achievement as a community and to become a stable partner for the state of Illinois. Mabuhay tayong lahat. All right, you heard the congen. Don't forget about this uh, wonderful event or wonderful program for you or your children. So thank you, and maraming maraming salamat po congen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to join me in welcoming our Illinois Lieutenant Governor Evelyn Sanguinetti. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Why, hello, everyone. Hasn't this been an amazing celebration so far? We started off with the two Filipinos, and my only objection was that we did not have a dance floor right there to bust a move, because that was an amazing, amazing performance. Thank you. And then, of course, we have Miss Kate from Channel 7 do an amazing job. And then we heard the lovely voice of a soprano that I have never heard, but she was absolutely exquisite. Thank you so much, Juditha, for your lovely performance as well. And of course, my biggest thanks goes out to our Consulate General. I remember many months ago, we joined forces and met at our office as to all of the contributions of the Filipino community and everything she wanted to share with the great state of Illinois. And I just love taking a photo with you in my office because we are both exactly the same <laughs> size, which means power, Consulate General, absolute power. So on behalf of Governor Bruce Rauner, as well as myself, I want to say to everyone, Ma Bu Hai, good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you for being here today to honor and recognize the contributions of our Filipino American community. The accomplishments we will celebrate today are incredible and should always remind us that Filipino American history is not about just one single day. It's about a month, a week, a year. We should celebrate our cultures every single day of the year. It is part of our shared history as a nation and should be embraced each and every day. America is the greatest nation on earth. I think we could all agree because we are all a nation of immigrants. We all came to America for el sueño americano, that American dream, freedom, opportunity to make a better life for our children and our grandchildren. We cherish our inclusion. We cherish our diversity. We cherish the heritage and traditions of the nations that we all come from. But we cherish what we share together as American citizens, which is family, faith, hard work, devotion to education, and the love to give back to our communities. Today, we recognize the contributions of Sergeant Willie Lapitang, the, the Philippine American Cultural Foundation, and Ed Brotnell. Amazing, amazing people, amazing. I especially wanted to recognize two of our individual honorees, Chicago Police Department Sergeant Willie Lapitang and United States Army veteran Ed Brotnell. Governor Rauner and I thank you so much for your service and for your sacrifice. Again, thank you. 
like so many public servants before them, Filipino Americans have admirably served our nation in security, securing our freedoms and in securing our way of life. We honor our veterans from generations past, a new generation of veterans home from war. And we continue to thank our future veterans still serving at home and abroad. But our greatest heroes are our Filipino veterans of World War II. American heroes who were officially recognized last year with the presentation of the Congressional Gold Medal. This recognition finally honors the legacy of sacrifice and service to our Filipino veterans of World War II, our heroes of the greatest generation. All our honorees have accomplished so much and left a positive impact on the state of Illinois. Their work has helped so many people and has created a better future for all of the people of our great state. Today's event is just one of the many ways we are celebrating Filipino American History Month. We officially proclaimed October as Filipino American History Month. So with that, we must read a proclamation. Whereas the Filipino American community throughout the state and the Consulate General of the Philippines in Chicago will celebrate Filipino American History Month throughout October with various events and activities. And the month of October is designated as a celebration of the culture, traditions, history, and accomplishments of Filipino Americans in the United States and the many ways they enrich the fabric and foundation of our state and our nation. And the earliest documented Filipino presence in the continental United States was on October 18th of 1587, when the Spanish galleon, the Nuestra Señora de Buena Esperanza, under the command of Captain Pedro de Unamuno, dropped anchor in Morro Bay, California, and the landing party explored the coast. And the first settlement of Filipinos referred to as Manila men was in 1765 in southeastern Louisiana. And the Manila men comprised the start of the many contributions of Filipino Americans have made toward the advancement of the United States in several fields, including art, culture, sciences, medicine, education, law, technology, and in many other areas of human endeavor. And Filipino Americans hold the founding principles of Illinois, and our state is proud to recognize the leadership and contributions of Filipino Americans throughout our history as they inspire the next generation of American innovation by example. And 2018 marks the Illinois Bicentennial, which reminds us all that every day in Illinois, amazing things are born, built, and grown. And our 200th birthday will honor the many ways the Filipino Americans have influenced American history, achievement, culture, and more. Therefore, Bruce Rauner, governor of the state of Illinois, does hereby proclaim October 2018 as Filipino American History Month in Illinois. Congratulations and let's celebrate. Thank you. I shall leave this here. That was quite the proclamation. Wow. I, first, I'd like to, everyone, just give a round of applause for these two wonderful women. It's an honor to stand here with my fellow vertically challenged women. Not only that, I'm here with two female leaders, so that's something else to be honored today. So thank you. So thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Now we'd like to present all of our Illinois Bicentennial Filipino American History Month celebration awardees with an official State of Illinois proclamation from Governor Rauner and Lieutenant Governor Sanguinetti, recognizing their ongoing contributions and leadership within the community. Now, during the preparation for the program, it was apparent that we have an accomplished group of leaders here with us today from military service, protecting and serving the community, and promoting Filipino cultural culture and history, volunteering at nonprofits and community service projects, 
it's to all our community's benefit that this group has it all and gives even more. So ladies and gentlemen, let's meet them. Are you guys ready? I want to make sure everyone's awake here still, okay? All right, there, that's the enthusiasm we'd like. So let's all move on to our first awardee. Our first award goes to Wilfredo Santos Lapitan. Now, Willie has dedicated his life to protecting and serving the community with the highest degree of ethical behavior and professional conduct. An 18-year veteran who is currently a Chicago Police Department 24th District Sergeant, Willie has received numerous recognitions and awards, but the most meaningful was when he received the life-saving award from the Chicago Police Department for running through a burning building and saving the lives of several senior citizens. He's received his Master's of Business Administration from St. Xavier University with a 4.0 GPA. Wilfredo is the Executive Director of the Asian American Law Enforcement Association. He and his wife Susan reside in Chicago and are the proud parents of one son and one daughter. Congratulations, Willie. Thank you very much, Willie. I would also like to acknowledge all law enforcement officials who are here today. Please, everyone, if you're in the room, whether you're part of the event, enjoying lunch, whatever, all of you guys, please stand so we can thank you so much for your service. And on behalf of the people of Illinois, thank you so much for protecting and serving our communities. Really, thank you very much. Up next. We have the Philippine American Cultural Foundation formed exclusively for charitable, civic, cultural, humanitarian, educational, and social services. In addition to hosting the annual Piesta Pinoy and promoting cultural, educational, social, and civic services, the Philippine American Cultural Foundation also conducts and collaborates with various charitable and community organizations in several humanitarian projects, such as medical and humanitarian missions, humanitarian missions to the Philippines, disaster and relief operations to victims of typhoons, and much, much more. It's an organization I hold dearly to my heart and has welcomed me ever since I came here. So ladies and gentlemen, please let us put our hands together for the Philippine American Cultural Foundation. Only one of them, one of a few here. All right, on to our next award. This one also has sort of a personal meaning for me. I grew up in a military family on Marine Corps and Naval Air Stations in Japan. I'm also the proud daughter of a retired senior chief in the Navy. So this one, I am honored to introduce our next awardee. Please welcome Chief Warrant Officer for Edward Brotonel, United States Army, retired. Now, during his 29 years of active duty service, Ed received numerous awards and decorations, including five service medals, six Army Commendation Medals, and two Army Achievement Medals, the National Defense and the Korean Defense Service Medals. He also participated in the recovery efforts at the Pentagon after the terrorist attack on 9-11. Thank you so much for your service and congratulations again, Ed.
tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give all of our awardees another big round of applause. We are so grateful for what they do, and we look forward to their continued success. And once again, I'd like to welcome up to our podium Illinois Lieutenant Governor Evelyn Sanguinetti. This has been a wonderful celebration. Thank you so much for joining us here today. And I'd like to also thank, of course, the Consulate General of the Republic of the Philippines in Chicago, Kate from ABC7 Chicago, Philippine American Cultural Foundation, two Filipinos, always great to have you back. Thank you for making our celebration a wonderful one. Our soprano, Judy, for showing, sharing your talents. Artists like Susan Silvano and Willie Buhi for sharing your artwork over here with us all. And a special shout out to our very own Marshall Grant from the Illinois Department of Transportation for volunteering to provide the sound system today. On behalf of the people of the great state of Illinois, thank you. May God bless you all. May God bless the state of Illinois. And may God bless these United States. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, all right. So to close out, thank you again, Lieutenant Governor. Once again, my name is Kate Kogirin from ABC7 Chicago. I see a lot of pictures being taken, so don't forget to follow us on social media. And if you are posting those pictures, you know who I'm talking about, my fellow Panoys here. Make sure you share them on social media. You need to use these hashtags, hashtag Illinois Proud, hashtag Illinois 200. And as we close this celebration, we leave you with another wonderful, beautiful performance by Marin Jason from the Chicago-based duo, the two Philippines. Filipinos. Please make sure to check them out for their upcoming shows. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you very much for celebrating again Filipino American History Month. We still have 30 more days to celebrate. So on to the two Filipinos. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go dance. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm Thank you all so much for spending your afternoon with us here. It's an honor to be a part of the celebration. Jason and I are first-generation Filipinos, and we're thankful for the opportunities in the United States, and especially in the state of Illinois, to do what we love to do. With that said, um, Jason and I are both parents, and I think we all know as a parent it's hard to convince your kids to follow through on what's important. So this is a song we wrote. It's called Heart Attack. It's about never giving up. And I want to give a special thanks to our good friend Tommy Choi for always having us out. Thanks, brother. Two, there we go. The hole in the boat is bigger than your pill. You won't step away from jumping in your fail. Cause everyone needs to come undone to find out who you really are. See the days got you feeling numb. Battles at home are far from being won. I know sometimes you're begging for peace. Oh my heart, find out where you really are. So don't you?
Don't you lose your faith Cause love is gonna find a way Mabuhai! Nice work, brother.